so now my meal is all packed up, ready for me to take on my flight. This is my essential travel kitchen. And it packs down into this. This is the best little spice organizing system I've ever traveled with. Most airline food leaves little to be desired, and I tend to pack my own food while I'm traveling. This way it allows me to pick and choose the things I like, and it allows me to eat healthy while I'm traveling. But I also use these things at my destination to save me money from having to eat out, and it keeps me prepared for just about anything. you need some theory of simple thanks for joining me today in today's video i'm going to show you my travel kitchen essentials things that come with me on almost every single travel adventure and tell you why i take them this is my travel kitchen that comes with me on almost every single trip all right we're going to start off with the smallest thing that i take which is this which is a p38 it's the smaller version of the p51 this is a little can opener because some of, you, some of you who follow me know that I've been on a couple of travel adventures where I needed a can opener and they didn't have one. I would wished I had it on that and that's why I carry this all the time. This is actually part of my everyday carry. I carry this with me in my little keychain pouch as my everyday carry thing. So this is always with me so that I always have a way to open a can of soup, a can of tuna or whatever. This is a travel must have. This next thing also comes with me on every single travel adventure, and that is my immersion heater. This immersion heater is my favorite because it has a little bit of plastic here that allows it when you're sitting it like, let's say on the bottom of something plastic or whatever, it just helps keep it from being against something that could, this gets really hot and it could melt. It also comes with an adapter. So if I'm going into Europe or any other country like Asia, I can adapt it, but it comes off to use it in the United States. And it's not so deep that this part is sticking up out of my cup a lot. It also has a little hooky thing here so that I can put it on the cup and kind of keep it in there. And what you want to do when you're using this is make sure that you fill your vessel with some sort of water. I only use this with water. I don't use it with anything else. Fill it with water, put this in, and then plug it in because this gets hot quickly and you don't want this to burn out. So make sure that you are putting this in water prior to plugging it in, but a great thing to have. I carry this with me on all my travel adventures. I keep it in a silicone bag because if I'm done using it and I kind of need to put it away and it's still kind of hot, I can put this in here and it'll keep it safe. Cools off pretty quickly, but I always bring an immersion heater with me. For those of you who follow me, you've seen a couple of posts where I have used a coffee maker somewhere and I got sick and I looked inside and it was fungus and mold in a coffee maker, I now have a way to heat all of my own water. And that's very important, especially if you're going to countries where you're unsure of the water and you have to drink something out of the tap, which happened to me in a country where I got sick and I couldn't leave my hotel room and all I had was water out of the tap. I was glad I had this so that I could heat water from the tap and still have something to drink. Very important tool that I take with me on every travel adventure. Also, this silicone bag acts as an extra little place for me to either store food if I need to, or if I need a hot or cold water bottle, I could put hot water in, in here that I heat with the immersion heater. So if I'm having a backache or something, this also works for that. Or if I want to put ice cubes in this and I have a sore neck or a bruise or a contusion, I can use this as a little mini cold pack. So these two things are multi multitask and come with me on every single travel adventure. The next thing I carry with me is this, which is a little folding fork and spoon, as you can see here. This is also part of my EDC. I take this with me every single day because there's times where you've stopped and got an ice cream and you, you know, have a little wooden spoon, it doesn't work, or you drop your spoon or something and it, you know, you don't have time to go get a new one, or you just don't want to use single use things. This is a lightweight titanium fork and spoon set. This is great. I use this all the time. It's one of my favorite things and also comes with me on every single travel adventure. Along with that is this, which are my little travel titanium chopsticks because chopsticks are so useful. You can use them to eat with. I use them to mix up eggs. 
I use them when I'm eating Cheetos and I don't want my fingers to turn orange. <laughs> These things work great. They're a titanium lightweight. They fold right into themselves like this. So they're this small. They go into the same pouch as my little titanium fork and spoon. A great set to have. These are with me every day in my everyday carry. Also part of that everyday carry is a really thin, really thin uh, little cloth that I can use to wipe down my face, wash or dry my dishes, whatever. It's a cloth and it's so useful. You can use it as a hanky, you can use it as anything, but it's this really thin material. Now this was larger and I actually cut it down because I don't need that much and I wanted something smaller that fit into my little everyday carry. So this is something that comes with me. I already use this today because the Airbnb that I'm at doesn't have any sponge or cloth to wash my dishes. It has a brush, but I just find a brush doesn't always get into all the nooks and crannies. This will suds up so well and allow me to clean all of my kitchen items. This, and I forgot this the last time and I was really sorry, but this is a great item to be able to plug up a sink or a bathtub so that you can either take a bath or wash your clothes. If you're like me and you travel light, Things that you want are like this dress. I was able to wash this in the sink, hang it and dry it. And it's because I had this little silicone sink stopper. And if you have the stopper where it sticks up a little bit on the sink, by putting this on top and getting the water running, holding your hand over it, the pressure of the water will hold this down and allow you to fill that sink with water and get your things clean. This little thing right here is a bowl with a screw on lid. So this allows me to use this as a cup or as a bowl. You can mix like yogurt and things together and have a breakfast. And then if you want to take it along with you, you can go ahead and just put a little screw on watertight lid so that you have something you can take for a snack and it doesn't spill or anything like that. But it folds down so flat and it fits into this next item. This, this is my next collapsible bowl with a lid and it's also one of those things that it won't leak once the lid is on and snapped on nice and tight. But that little cup I showed you fits right inside of that. So if I'm not taking it on my travel adventures to actually eat something on the plane, this will be in my luggage to take with me. So this one is a bigger bowl. It's going to allow me to have things like a nice size salad or some ramen or anything in here. I can put it in the microwave and heat things up and take a lunch with me and this little lid just snaps right on top. So that way it keeps it nice and there it goes. <laughs> water tape so that way I can take something along with me and I don't have to worry about any spillage. This right here and this goes with me on all my travel adventures because a lot of times I want to have a nice cup of hot coffee on the plane and I bring my own water and coffee and this cup is great. This ribbing here allows me to put hot water in this, hold on to it and then it doesn't get hot in my hands. It also has some nice aluminum here which gives it some sturdiness. So. Um, sometimes when things like this get hot, they become a little softer. This has that rigidness in it to help keep it more sturdy. Um, and as you saw, it collapses down. The one negative thing I will say about this cup is when you put something hot in this, this part on the bottom gets hot. So you want to make sure you grab it on the silicone. And I did that by accident. I grabbed it, my pinky touched here, and wow, that was really hot. So you just have to be careful. But it is a great cup for travel. And I, like I said, it just folds right up into this right here, so it makes it a great way to store it in your personal item as you're traveling. If you like to carry liquids with you, this is another great item to have. These are little squishy silicone jars, and what I like about them is, see how wide the bottom is? That means when I set it on my tray table, it's not gonna wobble and go all over the place. So if I bring a salad, I can mix some dressing up in here, and yes, it is under the 100 milliliters. I can go ahead and put my salad dressing in here and then pour that over my salad when I'm on my air flight and eat my meal. So a couple of these always work great. I sometimes bring these with the olive oil and avocado oil that I need because I buy a very high-end brand and I can't find it everywhere. And this way I can bring some of that with me on my travel adventures. This is my spice rack in a bag. It's really easy to make. I'm gonna put a link in the video description to what these little containers are.
So I buy this salt right here and it comes in a pack of six little tiny travel salts. They're so cute and useful. But what I do is I dump the salt into my salt container at home. So that way I end up with these little plastic bottles like this. And I just fill these with the spices that I use the most often. So you can see here I have white pepper, garlic, onion, basil, ginger, and cinnamon. And then I, I bring a little bottle of tahini because I, I just like it. And that fits all in my little um, spice bag. And they just have little shakers on the top. So right here, it has a little shaker so that I can sprinkle a little bit of spice while I'm cooking on the road. Because when I go to an Airbnb or even a hotel, I don't wanna to have to go out and buy a bunch of spices. They're expensive, they're in big bottles. I don't wanna take them home, so I leave them there. Or if they have spices there, sometimes they're old and they just don't work. So I keep mine here and I keep this in a little um, bag so that it keeps everything really fresh and keeps it so that, um, you know, if I'm traveling around, nothing spills out or anything, this is great. So. This is another great travel item I take on most of my travel adventures. All right, I hope you like that must have travel kitchen items that I take on almost all my travel adventures. If you'd like to see some other things that I bring with me, like that pot in the back and how I use it and that little thing right there, you'll have to stay tuned to next week's video. Until the next time, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Try to do a little bit of travel cooking to save yourself some money for those souvenirs you wanna bring home. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I like that the whole time that I was just talking, the camera wasn't even on.